Hello and welcome to VR Reviews. Today we're reviewing the Marvel Superhero Mashers Carnage. So yes, here we have another Marvel Superhero Mashers figure. Um, I'm not like amazingly fond of these, but as far as children's toys go, they are pretty cool. If you don't know, they're essentially just Marvel characters and you can get a lot of them and like mash their pieces together. I don't like that aspect of them, but I think they're kind of a cool stylized, well-made uh, little action figure. Either way, let's go ahead and zoom in for the articulation sculpt paint details, all those sorts of things. Alright, starting off a quick size comparison. Of course, here we have Carnage. Here's our standard Marvel Legends 6 inch Cosmic Armor Iron Man and 3 and 3 quarter inch Marvel Universe Wolverine. And here's the only superhero Masters figure I have other than Carnage, which is Venom. Uh, Carnage scales really well with Venom. They're about the kind of size differential that I would generally expect. Carnage is a little bit shorter than standard 6 inch scale. I assume he's about average size for superhero Masters, but. Like I said, Venom's the only other one I have, and he should be a larger character. And, of course, he is much bigger than a three and three quarter inch figure. Now, let's get everything else out of here and just look at Carnage. All right, moving on to 360 spin here, you can see Carnage. He is red and black, as you would expect. He does have all the random little ports on his body that the superhero masters figures do. Other than that, he's pretty much got a smooth sculpt. Um, with the exception of his arms and legs, the black tendrils on those are actually sculpted. The ones on his chest are not. Uh, he's got one bigger claw hand and then one smaller claw hand. Uh, I kind of wish he had two small claw hands and two big claw hands to interchange, but these are the only two arms he actually comes with. Um, overall, the detail is not bad. Like, I mean, it's what you should expect from these kind of figures. He doesn't have anything painted on the back, which makes it look a bit bland from behind. But uh, all in all, it's a pretty cheap, you know, toy made for children, essentially, so not really much to bother complaining about. Let's go ahead and zoom in on his head sculpt. Head sculpt wise, Carnage looks pretty good. His eye pieces and the mouth part are actually sculpted. The black lines are just painted on there. Uh, but it looks like Carnage. Like, there's not really a lot to complain about. It looks how Carnage should look in this particular style of figure. Now let's go ahead and zoom out and look at some articulation. Carnage's articulation should be pretty similar to all the superhero masters figures. Just a bunch of hinge and rotation joints. In the neck, shoulders, elbows... Uh, hips and knees. I think Venom actually had some uh, ankle articulation, but other than that, Carnage seems to be pretty standard, and you can get him into a few different poses, so that's all fine. Carnage does come with one accessory, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. Carnage's one accessory is this sort of big, long, uh, stretchy tendril hand thing that you can just put into any port on him that you want. Uh, it's not painted, it's just molded in solid red. It looks okay, but it's a bit cumbersome, and I don't think I would display him with it, but it's a cool little accessory sort of thing. That wraps it up for Carnage and all of his accessories, so let's move on to the packaging. Packaging-wise, Carnage comes in the standard basic superhero masters packaging. Window here, Carnage, uh, sort of amalgamation character over here, Marvel superhero masters. On the back you get a picture of Carnage combined with some other stuff, as well as the other figures that are available. Carnage, Rocket Raccoon, Star-Lord, and Whiplash. I don't particularly want any of these, as I'm just kind of getting the occasional superhero master figure. Honestly, they'd be hard-pressed to make another character that I even really want. But, uh, yeah, if I get any more of them, I'll review them. As always, these are good for in- or out-of-package displays. So, yeah, Carnage. All right, the wraps it up for Carnage, so until next time, goodbye. Hello, you've just watched one of my videos. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed my videos. If you didn't, run away. Run away and never return. Also, feel free to check out my other channels. Venom Raptor for all my variety gaming content and VR reviews for reviews of various action figures and collectibles. Thank you and goodbye.